In this video I'm showing you how to connect to your rover and setting your rover up as an auto rover using a radio transmission from a base. So you will go to GNSS rover and then you will pick the appropriate setting. If you used a radio setup using a different protocol you can edit it here. So let's say I want to do a radio connection to my base and the base is already set up and I know the settings for that base. I can go in here and check it. So I can connect the receiver first. So let's cancel this step and go back and make sure that the receiver is connected. So I'm just going to go back to cancel. So first we need to connect to the receiver before we can set it. So I go to connect to instrument and then select your instrument from this serial number list at the bottom. I've shown it in the previous video on how to connect to the base. But if you didn't catch it there, we go to search, find the receiver here or press pair new device and look for the serial number that is written at the bottom of your receiver. Select it here or just go back and select it in this list if it's not already in this list and press connect. Successfully connected. Now we can go to GNSS Rover and go to Auto Rover. In this case, I'm just going to edit it by scrolling to the right and changing my radio setup. And you can see it automatically picks up the last setting that was used on the radio in the receiver. And this is what I want, CHC nav protocol and channel six is my default. And we will say save and accept. But before I say that, if you need to retransmit corrections from the base to another rover downstream from you that's out of range of the base, you can do that by switching on this button. Then this receiver will become a repeater also. It's a pretty nifty feature of this receiver. So I'm going to say save and accept. And now the software is configuring the rover and setting up as a radio receiver so that the rover can pick up corrections from the base and if I want to double check the setting I can press the instrument info button and here you can see all the settings that were set up and we want to see GNSS rover with the correct protocol channel and frequency as defined on the base receiver it should match otherwise you will not get a fix